What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking John City 4 here bringing us some Black F3. Hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay and if you do, make sure you leave a like on the video. So anyways, a quick review about Black F3 beta, I would like to say the biggest difference this year has to be the movement. It's nothing compared to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare because Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, it was all about speed. Everybody was jumping up and down super quick, everybody was dashing and everything. And Black Ops 3, the way I want to describe the movement is sluggish. It is super sluggish. I felt like I was running like in slower than molasses or something. I don't know. I just didn't feel quick. I just didn't feel fast. I feel like... I want to either carry the AR or the SMG because they both feel the goddamn same. I feel like I'm still running slow. Even even though we do have Marathon 24-7 on our characters, I felt super slow. I just couldn't get to certain places how I wanted to and hopefully, you know, they think into speeding up the players a little bit because I feel like we're just going to... I don't know. It just feels super slow paced to me. It does, it does not compare to Modern Warfare 3. I know Modern Warfare 3 did not have lightweight or any other, you know, kind of perk that allowed you to move that quite, that fast. So I can kind of compare it to Modern Warfare 3. It was kind of slow in Modern Warfare 3, but not sluggish. Another reason why I call it sluggish is because every time you run, your camera is shaking even more compared to last year. Last year, the camera will, will stay kind of stable when you jump and everything, but this year, they're making it more dynamic. I don't know. I feel like. Like, I, they gotta stop with the, the movement of the camera. I know they wanna make it feel a little bit more realistic, but it's annoying as hell, I'm telling you. So, um, I even hit my keyboard right now. It's, it's annoying how the camera moves. So, uh, the movement is sluggish. I don't, I mean, the wall running is okay. I thought it was gonna be like exaggerated fast, like in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare with all that jumping and stuff, but it's actually kinda slow. So, the jumping is slow, the running is slow, the wall run is slow. It's just a slow paced game overall like it is a slow paced game now moving on to the weapons the weapons the I don't have any problems with them It's just that um I hate reloading like half of the time But I understand I gotta carry extended maxes sometimes so the weapons I'll say they're passable for now I'm pretty sure they're gonna you know Debuff some of them along the way so hopefully they don't debuff some of the weapons that I'm currently using like for example this one the CUDA The CUDA has been pretty much pretty much nice to me. I've been doing so well with this weapon I'm going like around 38 kills and 10 deaths like most of the time. That's how it's more mostly like ranges to 38 kills and 10 deaths so uh, the CUDA I'm doing good with it. There's another weapon that looks like the P90 which I really want to try out I haven't tried it out yet, so um, I'm, I want to try out that one because I know that one can do a lot of damage like it did back in Modern Warfare 3. I was super good with it in Modern Warfare 3 with the P90 and everything. So uh, I really want to use that gun uh, super fast, but I'm not in that level yet. So anyways, um, another thing I can mention are the three maps. You know, they only gave us three maps even though the trailer told us four plus. Like that was a huge mislead right there. I thought it was going to be like... You know, at least five maps or something. But no, it's, it's regular ass three maps. It kind of sucks because... You know, we're always going to be playing in three maps in the next week, you know, till, till the end of the beta. So, kind of sucks. Hopefully, they think of adding at least one more or something because it kind of it's kind of going to get boring with just three maps. What the hell is this? Like, seriously, I know it's a beta, but give us at least another map. You know, four maps would have been nice or something. Another thing they're missing from the beta is that there's no ground war. What the hell? Seriously, you're going to have a lot of people playing your game and no ground war? Are you serious? So, anyways, with no ground war now, people are only heading over to Demolition. It took me a while to find some TDM and some Kill Confirm and Domination games because and everybody's in Demolition. When I go into the lobby of Demolition, I can find a match right away. I, I'm thinking everybody's playing that game mode. It's non-stop. It's full of action. That's why everybody's heading over to Demolition. So, I believe this year in Black Ops 3, Demolition will be the game mode to be in. If they return ground war, maybe it will be just ground war and Demolition every day. So... Um, yeah, that's, a, that's my quick review guys. Uh, the beta is alright. I want to give it like a 7.5 out of 10. They could have given us a little bit more maps, maybe a little bit more speed on our characters because it feels super sluggish. So I'm still willing to play the game. I'm, I'm going to bring you guys more tips and best class setups along the way. So stay tuned for more stuff for Black Ops 3 and also subscribe for more.